I believe that you can have an, ex an extraordinarily powerful experience with a psychic me medium, and sometimes even a life-changing one, whether or not you believe. But what actually matters is your connection with that person and the emotional experience you're having. So you've done documentaries on so many different things, on so many different types of people, actors, musicians, very famous people. What made you want to pursue this topic and what made you want to bring it to Sundance? I had the idea for this movie the day after Donald Trump got elected. Whoa! I was extremely depressed, sad, frightened about the future. And in my lost state, I, I'd never been to a psychic before, but I just walked into a, a psychic shop. It said $5 psychic reading. I went in. There was a little table and chairs, no one was there. And I sat down at the table and immediately felt very emotional. Like I was looking in a mirror at my own desperate state at that moment. And it was really powerful. And then the psychic came in, gave me a reading. It was very short, five minutes, gentle, comforting. I felt better afterwards. And then as I was leaving, she said, what do you do for a living? I said, I'm a documentary filmmaker. She said, oh, what do you make movies about? And I said, well, I'm making one now about a Zen priest who helps suicidal people find reasons to keep living. And she said, that sounds like my life. And I said, what? Oh. And she said, yeah, you know, people come to psychics at real crossroads in their lives. And I had this light bulb moment of, I, I never would have expected that of a psychic. And wouldn't this be an incredible space to see this whole wash of humanity come in, hear their questions, what are they searching for? And so that's where the idea from the film came from. How do they afford New York City rent? <laughs> well, you'll see in the movie, well, you saw the movie, you know, they're in kind of classic New York City apartments. Their apartments look like my apartments, you know, they're kind of tiny, they're crammed with books and movies and art and stuff. I, I don't know how, a lot of them have day jobs. Most of the psychics in my film are doing this, I would say, as a calling. Uh, they have day jobs, they do readings for free or on a sliding scale a lot of the time. So I think they're like any other New Yorker. They're hustling, doing five things at once and somehow pay the rent. Yeah.